Hey, good morning, guys. What's happening? YouTube, you guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels. Uh, got some interesting news for you guys today. This article comes to us from Cointelegraph, and it was recently announced that the second largest U.S. mortgage lender, which is United Wholesale Mortgage, has announced that they're hoping to begin accepting crypto payments by the end of the year. Uh, you know, crypto seems to be gaining more mainstream adoption. It seems like almost every celebrity out there, uh, if they're not hawking a coin, uh, they've gotten into NFTs, they're creating NFTs, they're talking about crypto. We're seeing more and more companies adopting cryptocurrency. Um, and we're just, even though it's not being used for everyday transactions, it, it is slowly growing mainstream adoption. Now, I don't think very many people have an interest in using Bitcoin to pay for their coffee or really using any cryptocurrency for that matter to pay for their coffee. You know, for, the, for these types of transactions, a credit card or cash is kind of the default. That's what people are used to. It's fast and it's cheap. Uh, Bitcoin transactions are slow. You know, it's not really great for a coffee shop when, you know, 30 seconds passes between you placing your order and you're getting your coffee. A transaction isn't going to confirm that quick. And also when you're spending two or three dollars, you know, Bitcoin transactions, the, the cost of Bitcoin transactions has come down a lot recently. Um, it, it's relatively cheap right now. Uh, but still, on a on a two or three dollar cup of coffee, you know, a Bitcoin transaction is going to be more money than using a credit card. However, for larger transactions and especially something like a mortgage payment, I, I actually think it does make sense. You know, I could see myself. Let's say Bitcoin's at forty thousand this week, and next week it spikes up to sixty thousand. I could see deciding to, you know, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a grand or I'm gonna throw two grand at my mortgage and just make an extra payment. Uh, or, you know, Bitcoin price is really high right now. I'm going to make my mortgage payment this month in Bitcoin. Um, you know, I could see that being useful to people. Um, you know, currently, if you wanted to use some of your crypto funds to either pay down your mortgage uh, ahead of schedule or just make a regular mortgage payment, you're having to, uh, you know, most likely if you're doing things the right way, you're having to send from your hardware wallet over to Coinbase. There's going to be a fee associated with that send. Uh, then, you know, you're going to have to sell the Bitcoin on Coinbase. There's going to be a fee associated with that. Then you're going to have to wait for the money to hit your bank. Then you're going to make the payment. If you could directly from your hardware wallet, you know, just send a Bitcoin over to your mortgage company, uh, you know, on a given day or a given week when Bitcoin is high, you know, to me, that's actually useful. I could actually see some people doing that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Drop a comment down below. But let's take a look at this article, which comes to us from Cointelegraph. The second largest U.S. mortgage lender will accept crypto payments later this year. Speaking during a conference call about the, Q, about the firm's Q2 results, United Mortgage Wholesale CEO Matt Ishbia outlined plans to accept crypto payments later this year. Now, nothing's for sure yet. They're still having to work out kind of how the technology is going to work. Um, obviously, the, the mortgage industry is heavily regulated, so they're also going to have to make sure that there's not any you know, any strange regulations that they're going to have to uh, work around. Uh, but they said they are planning on doing this by the end of the year if everything works out. United Wholesale Mortgage, or UWM, the second largest United States-based mortgage lender, is planning to accept cryptocurrency payments this year, starting with Bitcoin. And it sounds like they want to roll out to other currencies as well. UWM CEO Matt Ishbia revealed the crypto plans on Monday in a conference call regarding the firm's Q2 results, with the firm posting $138.7 million in net profits for the quarter. We're excited that hopefully this year we can actually execute on that before anybody in the country, said Ishbia. Um, and here's a tweet from United Wholesale Mortgage. We're evaluating the feasibility and requirements in order to accept cryptocurrency to satisfy mortgage payments. <coughs> and this was tweeted out on uh, August 16th, just a couple of days ago. Speaking with the Detroit Free Press on Monday, Ishbia said the move would likely happen later this quarter or at the start of Q4, adding, I think we're starting with Bitcoin, but we're looking at Ethereum and others as well. We're going to walk before we run, but at the same time, we are definitely a leader in technology and innovation and are always trying to be the best and the leader in everything we do. That's the plan. Obviously, there's no guarantees. We're still working through some details, the CEO added. UWM was the second largest mortgage lender in 2020, originating 560,798 loans worth almost $183 billion. Quicken Loans led the pack, originating 1.1 million loans worth $314 billion. The use of crypto and real estate purchases has a history of dating back seven years, with BitPay helping facilitate the sale of a Lake Tahoe property that sold for $1.6 million in BTC 
in 2014. However, crypto mortgage repayments appear to be a relatively new phenomenon. Uh, do we got comments? I always like reading the comments. Doesn't look like we have any. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. You know, I think uh, regardless of, of whether you use it or not, I think this is a good thing for crypto adoption. I could see some value in it. For any of you guys who, who have mortgages, could you see yourself making a crypto payment in mortgage? Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button below and ring the bell. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll catch you on the next video.